What's going on guys, Justin Doffema. So I wanted to make this video because I had a couple people ask, how do I get a lead out of Facebook from a lead form? And you can do it the way I'm gonna show you right here, but it is a pain because unless you have Microsoft Excel, it's very hard to get those leads from there and you know copy and paste them somewhere else or just to have to keep checking Microsoft Excel or come in here and having to you know go over one of these highlighted underneath your ad level in within the campaigns if you highlight over this it's gonna be blue and it's gonna show you lead form now if you click this this is where you can download that lead but it's gonna be a CSV file and I think this is one of the option and then you can move that from there into a Microsoft Excel and unless you have it like I said a lot of people that I've been talking to don't have Microsoft Excel so you know this is there's another way that we can do this here so the other ways that I'm gonna show you is simply by setting up a Google spreadsheet in your drive uh, lead owl is an option I'll explain what that is and then Zapier so lead owl is an app that we use for our clients to where uh, as soon as a lead comes in on Facebook it gets sent right over to lead owl lead owl captures all the information name email phone number but the cool part is is on your phone your phone your phone will go ch ching it'll make the cash register sound as soon as a lead comes in so it allows you to get back to that lead very quickly because you get an instant notification you get a 15 minute notification a 60 minute and a 24 hour and i believe one more after that honestly i don't know i'm almost positive there is but i never let it go that long anyway so you want to get to a lead within the first 15 minutes i suggest 60 seconds 90 seconds as soon as a lead comes in you want to get to that now a lot of the times on facebook you want to be able to retarget these people send them more stuff have an email campaign have an SMS text go out so you know a lot of times leads are not going to convert right away on that first touch point they're gonna to need multiple touch points but still you want to know what's going on with your leads so that way you can you know call them back and have a place to kind of store them so that was lead owl Zapier is an app that allows thousands of other apps to kind of talk to each other and be able to send information to each other so it's an app that allows other apps to talk to each other so it's a way to automate your whole system here so you can know that your leads are coming out of a Facebook lead form and getting delivered to where you want them to to get delivered to kind of store that data and that information so first thing we're gonna do is if you you have to launch an ad wait for Facebook to approve it once Facebook approves it you're now gonna wanna close out of all your Facebook tabs all your ads manager tabs everything just completely uh, close out of all of them and for people that are not gonna use lead owl you can skip this step and then wait till we get to Zapier uh, so lead owl is ninety seven dollars a month there is a $29 a month plan it depends on how many people that you want to have uh, come in into it so uh, Zapier I believe is 20 or 29 dollars a month so you know you you can get fairly cheap with it if you go the other route it's gonna be a little bit more but let's just get into it here so we're gonna come in and make a Google sheet some people have never made one before but this is where <clears throat> the data is gonna get stored so first thing once this finishes loading we want to name this sheet and we're just gonna put test lead form so we know that's where it's coming in from I always make this top row a little bit bigger for the name I move one box over same for this one just so when your email comes in and you're getting all these emails and names they're uh, not getting crunched under one another so name email and phone so these are the main things that you're going to be asking from someone on a, a, a Facebook lead form the more things that you ask from somebody the less opt-ins you're going to get the less leads you're going to get so all right we have this set up this is our test lead form within Google Sheets. We have name, email, phone number. Now we're gonna go into Lead Owl. For the people that do 
and are going to use lead owl this is how you're going to set it up you know obviously sign into your account go to add integration and you're going to come over here to zapier and lead forms it, it, lead ads is technically lead forms and again they do have just a native straight to it but what happens is anytime facebook updates anything or changes something and they're consistently doing that your leads tend not to go through so it's just much much easier to use Zapier because then you don't have to worry about your leads not being delivered to you. So we're gonna go ahead and integrate. So this webhook right here, you're gonna want to copy this. We're gonna name the integration. We'll actually click test lead forms. The lead rotator is if you have other people that you're working with and you want to distribute those leads to other people, you can bring them into Lead Owl and actually send a lead to this person, this person, and this person, and then it'll keep rotating back between them over and over again. So for right now, we're not going to bother getting into that. We're just going to leave that off. You do want to send instant notifications. And as far as the push reminders, just leave that like that as well because you do obviously want that to be an instant notification. Uh, you can integrate your autoresponder with this. There is a spot over here where it says autoresponder, whether you have constant contact, uh, MailChimp, you know, there's a whole bunch of other um, autoresponders that you can integrate. And when you create a list within your autoresponder, like MailChimp, it's gonna populate in here as well. So you're gonna be able to come in and grab that and integrate that if you want. We're just gonna click none for now. We're gonna go ahead to integrate. So as you can see, we're successfully integrated. Now we're gonna to go to Zapier. So again, Zapier is just a great software that allows all these other softwares and apps to connect to each other. I believe over a thousand can come in here and connect to them. So we're gonna go ahead and go to make a zap. And again, to use uh, Facebook lead forms and connect that, that is a premium. So we're gonna go ahead and, uh, I don't have to type it in, it's right there. So just hit the drop down. And again, when you come in here, you're gonna have to connect your Facebook page to it so they know that it's you and they can pull off of the business pages that you're working with. So I'm gonna be walking through this. I set up a new account just to kind of show you from the beginning. Okay, there I am, Justin Doffenbaugh. So now whatever pages I'm admin on or whatever business pages that I own, it's gonna connect it right here. So we just send a test, test uh, is successful. We're gonna go to save and continue. So now this is where you're gonna add in the page. So whatever page you're advertising on and running ads. So we're gonna come down here, authority advertising, and we're gonna pick a form. So if, if you've already got that ad out on Facebook, you already know what the name of your form was. So you're just gonna to wanna to find it within here and click the form and go to continue. If you pull in a sample, now this is gonna send a sample so that way you know it's working. All right, so our next step is we are going to add in the Google Sheet. So you just click next step, action slash search, and right here, scroll down to see Google Sheets, and we want to create a spreadsheet row. You don't want to do create worksheet or update spreadsheet row or look up spreadsheet row. You want to create a spreadsheet row. So that means it's going to create a new row within that spreadsheet that we're going to be putting in here. So connect your account, which I probably have a bunch of them. I'm just going to connect with authority advertising, allow, send test, Successful, save and continue. So from here, let me just get that out of there. We're gonna go, we're gonna, you know, add that one we just added in here. So test lead form on our Google Sheets, test lead form. So everything's gonna match up that we put in there. And this is always gonna say sheet one. And then here is where we're gonna add in those fields that we put into that Google Sheet. So now when Z Zapier takes that information from that lead form that you've created in that ad, it's now gonna zap it into a Google spreadsheet. So you come over here to the drop down, 
and you just want to not name these just like it has so full name boom and then you're gonna do email email phone number phone number so right there that is connected now and then we're gonna send a test to Google Sheets so this is gonna when we go to Google Sheets this is what we're gonna see we're gonna see test at fb.com test lead dummy data for full name and we can go to finish so let's go over to our Google Sheet now and there it is as you can see it added it in let's delete that out of there and you can name your zaps you know what so you can name the top zaps so you know kind of if, if you end up setting up a whole bunch of forms and different zaps you're gonna want to be able to organize that stuff so I'm not gonna bother that right now I'm just gonna keep going so I can keep this short you don't want to turn on your zap yet because we're not finished so for the people who are gonna be using lead owl now this is where that other part is gonna come in here so we are gonna go to action slash search again and you want to scroll to you see webhooks right here so when we were in lead owl we got a webhook right so that webhook link is where we're gonna be putting it into this area right here so the post request a form or JSON you don't have to mess with anything in here I know this might be a lot of you know a lot of confusion and it might seem overwhelming but there's really not too many steps as long as you follow this video you should be absolutely fine so we're gonna paste that webhook that we copied within um, lead out if you're using that if not then this step doesn't go for you uh, so after that we're gonna scroll to the bottom we're gonna click continue and we're gonna put send a test So now if we go to lead owl to leads that test should be in there right here provided no name that's obviously because we're doing the test so we're going to finish <clears throat> and here's where you can actually turn on your zap this new account it wants me to upgrade so not a problem but anyway that's exactly how you want to do it and how you want to set it up so it's going to be from a Facebook lead form it's going to pull that data in send it to a Google spreadsheet to save all of that data but it's also going to alert you on your phone by using lead owl that you have a new lead so that's exactly how to set up those three and that is pretty much it so Hopefully that helped out the people who are asking, and I'm sure there's a bunch of other people who would like to know how to do that as well. And that is it, and I will talk to you guys very soon. Have a good night.